afternoon. In the last class, I told you about the concepts. That is business entity concept, going concern concept, money measurement concept, cost concept, next accounting period concept, matching concept, accrual concept, dual aspect concept, realization concept, and objective evidence concept. Along with that, I told you that there are conventions. Conventions are nothing but the guidelines that every accountant or every businessman he has to follow. Now, when you go for the conventions, conventions are four in number. Convention of consistency, convention of full disclosure, convention of materiality, and convention of conservatism. These are the four conventions or the guidelines that an accountant he will come across or a businessman he has to look after. Now, uh, first one is convention of consistency. Okay. When you go for consistency, whatever may be the method that you are following, whatever it may be the way that you are following, you have to follow the same method. And whenever you want to change the method, you have to inform okay, in advance that up to now this method I am following and from this stage onwards, I want to change the method and when I want to go for the next method like that you have to tell to the people whomever they are very interested in knowing this so convention of consistency it is very very essential for an accountant or a businessman you must be consistent okay you must be consistent for example if you take into account the cricket okay for example ms dhoni he made 50 runs in a test series in the first innings and in the second innings also he made 50 runs and Rahul Main this Virat Kohli he was struck out in the first innings and he made 100 runs when you take into account the average both the person's average is 50 but who is more consistent and who is less consistent means MS Dhoni is more consistent because he made 50 runs in the first innings as well as 50 runs in the second innings. So we can say that MS Dhoni, Mr. Cool, he is more consistent than Mr. Virat Kohli. Okay, because Virat Kohli is duck out in the first innings, whereas he scored 100 runs in the second. Okay, so when you take into account consistency and stability, Stability, it is very, very important when you go for consistency. So, here more consistent is Mr. Dhoni and less consistent is Mr. Virat Kohli. So, this is, this example you can take and you can find who is more consistent and who is less consistent. Okay, next convention, uh, next convention is convention of full disclosure whatever it may be the information okay the manager or the proprietor or the owner he has to give complete information to the accountant because we don't know what information when you hide when you hide this information without revealing okay that information it will become a necessary information so whatever information that you know, whatever the particulars that you know, you have to be disclosed. That information or that data must be disclosed to the accountant completely and fully. So this is nothing but convention of full disclosure. That is full information, full data, whatever it may be that is happened in the business it must be given to the accountant that is convention of full disclosure next third one is convention of materiality so when you disclose the complete information or complete data to the accountant whatever is necessary he will take materiality that is whatever is essential whatever is important whatever is required okay he will take that information and 
remaining equal remaining remaining information or data whatever it may be that is not necessary he will leave that so that is nothing but convention of materiality so every every accountant he will think about the material item what is the important and what is the necessary item that he requires to find out the profit or loss from the business so that thing it is nothing but convention of materiality then after that convention of conservatism or prudence so here you have to be very cautious that is okay whatever it may be the things that you have done you have to agree for that yes i have done this i have taken this information i have done like this that thing you have to tell openly otherwise it will become a disaster to the people that is people they don't believe people they won't believe that that you have done this in a correct manner and moreover the accountant he should not be okay whatever he had done he has to agree for that he should not bluff and he should not do mal practices okay you know doing one thing and telling one thing is nothing but a mal practice so he has to agree yes i have done this okay i have taken the information like this and i have done this and this is the result that i have got so prudence means you have to prove that you have done a mistake and you should not cover that so that is nothing but convention of prudence and this thing is also known as convention of conservatism so when you tell that when you tell that to the uh, people that you have done like this and that's why i got like this when you tell that automatically there will be a chance for you to convert they will rectify it. not no 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 this is not the way this is the way that you have to no, you have done you have taken the material uh, information material data okay fine okay but if you do like this automatically you are going to get the result like this so there will be a chance for converting whatever the mistakes that you have done so convention of conservatism here only a pro the accounting proverb will come that is anticipate no profits but be prepared for losses this is nothing but the proverb that we come across in accountancy anticipate no profits when you start a business okay you should not think that i must get profits i must get profits like that you should not think the businessman or the owner of a business he should not think yes i have started the business there is no chance for me because i must be known to the people and what i am doing what business i am doing what is the nature of business all these things people they must know that then only people will start coming to you otherwise no one will come to you so anticipate no profits but be prepared for losses okay some people they won't come they won't come automatically you cannot be in a position to sell the commodities so finally you are going to incur losses so that loss you must withstand to face the loss you will get losses no doubt but you must withstand that you are going to get losses automatically after some time the losses automatically they will be converted into profits because people will come to know about you the nature of business what you are doing and they is used to come to you they will start okay purchasing from you whatever they want so automatically what will happen is you have to you will be converted or the losses whatever you got they will gradually they will be converted into the profits so here also we can take an example if you take a, a buffalo okay the buffalo he won't, it won't lie one, on one side it will turn to the other side in the same way whatever it may be the losses that you come across in the beginning automatically they will be converted into profits they will change into profits so that is the main thing that you come across in this
convention of conservatism so with this the accounting principles which are very very essential for an accountant okay they you must be very thorough with this and you must be me no you must know again i am telling you that you must know the accounting principles then only people will say that you are a capable accountant okay in this case only you will come across standards accounting standards so unless otherwise you don't know the accounting principles it is highly impossible to understand about the standards standard is nothing but a yardstick okay we will fix standards taking into account all the things all the things whatever it may be without leaving a single thing or without leaving a simple thing you have to take everything and you have to fix a standard okay so this accounting standard is to be understood only when you understand this accounting principles that's why accounting principles they will come first then accounting standards will come okay if you understand it clearly about this accounting principles automatically you can be in a position to understand this accounting standards okay this is about the accounting principles now after this after this you have to take into account one more simple thing that is nothing but accounting equation okay in accountancy subject you will come across an equation and that equation we will call that thing as accounting equation so what is the accounting equation accounting equation is nothing but assets that is the properties which a businessman have okay assets is equal to liabilities plus capital liabilities in the sense outside liabilities which you have to pay to outside people that liabilities plus whatever it may be the investment made by the businessman that is capital okay so assets is equal to liabilities plus capital this is the accounting equation that you come across if you come across two items and if you don't know the third item it is easy for us to calculate this for example you know assets you know the capital so asset you don't know the liabilities so liabilities is equal to assets minus capital in the in other way you know about assets you know about the outside liabilities okay liabilities to be paid to outside people and you don't know the capital amount so assets minus liabilities is equal to capital so this equation we must know very well thereby what will happen is whatever it may be the transaction that you come across when you divide that when you see that every accounting information accounting equation or every accounting information whatever you come across it must tally or it must agree okay so first of all what you have to do is you have to take into account all the assets then what are the liabilities then what is the capital so every time you have to see whether the accounting equation was satisfied or not so this is how you have to take into account and every transaction whether it may be a cash transaction or a credit transaction when you go for accountancy accounting equation okay that accounting equation whatever you are coming across okay they must tell you no doubt you will come across changes you no doubt you will come across changes so that change whatever you come across you can be in a position to do clearly without any hindrance without any hindrance so that thing when you do that change automatically the accounting equation will tally so this is very very important and when you go further when you go further sometimes what they will do is they will give the liabilities they will give the capital but they won't give you the value of the assets so you have to find out liabilities plus capital is equal to assets that thing you have to take in future course in future course of time you will come across the problems like this so accounting equation every person they must understand and they must know that now after that after that 
okay we will go for journal before going to journal what we have to do is we have to prepare an analysis an analysis that's why when you take into account the accounting functions i told you that classification summarization and analysis here comes the analysis analysis of transactions every transaction must be analyzed okay must be clearly in a clear cut manner in a crystal clear manner you have to analyze thereby you can come to know which account is to be debited and which account is to be credited so this is nothing but analysis of transactions when you know thoroughly about this account analysis of transactions automatically you can be in a position to prepare the journal entries so for this analysis you will come across seven columns seven columns first column is the serial number second column is the transaction what had happened okay the third one is okay number of accounts the fourth one is the name of the account and the fifth one is the type of account the type of account and sixth one is which account is to be debited and the seventh one is which account is to be credited debited means to show on the debit side that is left hand side and to be credited means to show on the credit side or right hand side so like this you have to prepare the analysis for each and every transaction when you can able to do this automatically you can be in a position to prepare the journal entries without any hindrance or without any obstacle so like this you have to do this and tomorrow we are going to continue the next class thank you